Hello, I'm here at Bleecker Burger in Bloomberg in the city. One of my favorite burger places, in case you hadn't heard, um, because yesterday we launched a milkshake collab. Crumbs and Doilies came together with Bleecker to make what I would like to imagine is the best milkshake that's ever been created. It is our birthday cookie milkshake. It combines our birthday cookies from Crumbs and Doilies with Bleecker's soft serve, and it creates a, the most, well here it is, the most marvelous milkshake of all time. We've got, we've got milk, we've got ice cream, we've got biscuit crumbs, cookie crumbs, sprinkles, we've got all of it. And I'm gonna get me some. Anyway, so we're having a little party to launch it today, and I've spent the day making a special cake to celebrate. Um, it's a little number I like to call a birthday cookie drip cake. That's not its official name, but maybe that's what it will be. Who knows? Anyway, watch and see. I have drawn out the cake that I want to make today. Um, I have basically tried to embody the cookie and the shake as much as possible in the form of a cake. So we have uh, Funfetti sponge, which is gonna be filled with vanilla buttercream, and I've made this really nice um, caramelized white chocolate Called a kind of whipped ganache, like it's a really loose ganache um, and it's really fl light and fluffy. That's going on the inside and then on the outside I'm going to have cookie crumbs and massive chunks of cookie, caramelised white chocolate ganache drip, more sprinkles, just all the stuff that is in this shake, except for ice cream because that just wouldn't work. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to crack on with building my cake. Here we go. So I picked a Funfetti vanilla sponge because, as we all know, the birthday cookie is full of sprinkles and this is what we use for our birthday cake here at Crumbs and Doilies and it's really fun. Um, so Funfetti sprinkles using um, the best sprinkles in the world, which you can get on cupcakegemma.com. <laughs> now I'm using vanilla buttercream um, because I feel like it's the most reminiscent of like soft serve ice cream about, you know, as much as it can be, <laughs> not being cold, um, in a way that maybe Swiss meringue kind of isn't. This one sort of has a really ice creamy flavor to it and texture. So on the outside of the cake, I've just done the top coat of the top uh, tier of the cake, but on the outside of it, on the bottom, I want to do like a crummy, cookie crummy kind of collar, if you will. Um, so I've blitzed up some of our delicious birthday cookies, um, as you can see, I just did that in the food processor. But because um, I blitzed it up, a lot of the sprinkles kind of got annihilated, so I'm going to add more, because frankly, I think you can't really have enough sprinkles. It 
Those look really cute. I can't wait for this to go on the menu. <laughs> But I don't know if I'll be able to... There's going to be cookies on here, so I don't know if I'll bother with the sprinkles on this bit. So, as you can see, I'm nearly at the end. Oh, it's very exciting. And I've just completely covered the top with sprinkles because that is kind of what the milkshake is going to look like on the top. It's just going to be covered in sprinkles. But I've just, um, in this piping bag, I've got caramelised white chocolate, which I just melted down with a little bit of um, cocoa butter just to get it nice and loose. And I'm just doing it, using it as a drip. And I'm just so excited about eating this cake because I think it's going to be delicious. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. This, believe it or not, is made out of um, sugar paste and Rice Krispie squares. <laughs> I'm actually pretty pleased with it. I, I didn't, I didn't believe it would look as good as it, it does, but I'm really pleased with it. It looks just like a Bleecker burger. Bleecker burgers have a really unique look to them. They're very, the bun is very top heavy. And it's the lightest bun in the world because it's all about the meat inside. But anyway, we're not here to talk about meat, but I did make this <laughs> using um, Rice Krispie squares, which I just kind of squished down into the right shapes and then covered with um, sugar paste. And then just to get the kind of different colors, I use um, like luster dust and a really soft brush. Um, and on the bacon, I just used um, sugar paste, uh, sorry, uh, color paste uh, with a bit of alcohol just to like loosen it up. And the cheese is just chocolate white chocolate with a bit of um, colour mill yellow in it. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my god, I think I actually got it completely in the middle. First time. But anyway, what do you reckon? I love it. <laughs> right, all we need to do now is put this into a box, get our glad rags on and head over to Bleecker to celebrate the launch of the milkshake. Oh, I actually can't wait to get a milkshake. Imagine if I dropped it now. Imagine. <laughs> I'm not going to, it's fine. 